Stillwater is a drama crime film uh, starring Matt Damon. He plays Bill, an American man going to uh, Marseille to visit his daughter. She is in prison. She has a nine-year sentence and have served five years of her nine-year sentence. Uh, now, there's a lot of controversy with this movie because it's supposedly based on the um, Amanda Knox story, and they didn't ask her about it, and they just sort of vaguely changed a few details here and there. So that didn't really matter. What mattered uh, is the film doesn't really have an emotional thorough line. Uh, Bill is like supposed to be the supportive dad, but you find out he's not actually that supportive of a father. He's just sort of there um, to support her, but the bare minimum, you know, show up once in a while to give her emotional support. And then the movie doesn't really have much of a focus. Um, unlike a movie like, let's say, Conviction, in which like the brother-sister angle is played up to the point where she'll you know, always be there for her brother no matter what, Stillwater tries to do this, but then it also introduces some, you know, random stuff because it's trying to not be based off the real life story. So those make it ring, uh, not, it makes it ring mm, false, you know, because there's a lot of like stuff going on in the movie. It's also a really long movie. Um, performance wise, everyone does a good job. Matt Damon, the little girl, the, the, the woman, there's some funny parts. Uh, Abigail Breslin does a good job. But overall, Stillwater just feels kind of stale and stagnant. It does. It's like uh, it feels really like cheap because it's trying to like base off of a true story without actually giving it um, the real heft. If they, you know, had maybe talked to Amanda Knox, who, who's alive, and you know, got permission and just did like an Amanda Knox movie drama, it would probably been way better. Instead, they try to do like this piecemeal sort of hallmark kind of movie that just didn't really work because it didn't have much of a focus, it didn't have that emotional component. So overall, it's just kind of like a movie of pretty much just watching Matt Damon walk around not being able to speak French. Uh, so overall, the movie Stillwater is only okay. Um, it does have like, you know, good production values, I guess, and a good cast, but it doesn't really do much with it. So I give Stillwater a 5 out of 10.